Fort William, Scotland, for the first round of the UCI Downhill World Cup, the biggest race series for downhill mountain biking in the world. You have the fastest riders on the planet all riding against each other, trying to beat the clock. It's the highest stage of downhill mountain biking, yeah. This being the opening event for the World Cup is pretty crazy because it's a long, tough track. There's always a big crowd here and it's super important to start the season off on a good foot. Somebody said that to win preparation, opportunity and luck or something, they all have to collide at the same time. There's qualifying semifinals and finals. You have to be top 15, then you have to be top 10 and then you have to be fastest to win. I'm Abby Hoagie. I'm a 25-year-old downhill World Cup racer. I race for Beyond Racing together with my best friend, Anna Newkirk. We were the first only women's UCI mountain bike World Cup team. There's so many teams that were just two guys. We were like, why can't we just do two women? So we did. My name is Anna Newkirk. I am 22 years old. I race for Beyond Racing. I have that team with my best friend, Abby Hoagie. I have been racing mountain bikes for 12 years, maybe. The World Cup circuit for six now. That means so much to me to have Abby in my life and do all these cool things with her, travel around the world with her, race bikes with her. We complement each other's strengths. So we're a good team. We wanted to be more than just a race team. We wanted to uh, inspire friendships in mountain biking and we wanted to empower women in mountain biking because we, thought, we felt like they were undervalued. Starting our own team was really hard to get people to take seriously and actually that we could get somewhere with it. Anna and I together have a team budget that's lower than what some of the individual riders get paid. So for this season, we want to be at every World Cup, be in the finals as often as we can. We want to, we want to be a name in the sport. Thursday coming into the race with track walk, I was excited to see the track, excited to see you know what we're gonna be riding and racing. Very windy. It is very windy. Woo. It's always the same long, rough track, but every year the track's been a little bit different. The outside has a lot more of a berm than yeah. there used to be. I think you're like aiming towards these rocks here and it just kind of like go off this one, you know? I think the goal is to stay like to maybe to the left of the pink. For sure. There was a gap here. You could like fully gap from here to that backside right there. Last year we had world championships here and I did not have a good run. I had crashed in qualifying. I ended up like 25th, I think. I knew it was a hard track, but I was still excited to ride it because it's hard but fun. There was one really pretty scary feature they put in. A new jump across a river that was huge and had no takeoff whatsoever. It was just flat. So that really worried me. Everybody was sketching out about it. We've never hit it before. It's completely new, really long and a really harsh landing, like no room for error. It was a do or die jump. Thursday in general was a pretty stressful day. I was like, oh my God, everybody's gonna beat me. Why am I even here? I don't belong here in the World Cup. On Thursday, I was actually feeling pretty confident still. Yeah. Then came uh, Friday. <laughs> First lap, I take pretty chill on practice day. This is a track that I know relatively well because I've been here a few times before and it doesn't change that much. I 
pretty good on Friday. And then I just took it run for run, slowly built up confidence throughout the day. I try not to set too many expectations on myself. I feel like expectations usually lead to disappointment, but my goal was to first qualify to make it into semifinals and then to make it into finals. First lap of the track, I felt like the first person on a bike. I didn't hit any of the motorway jumps. I didn't hit the river gap. I was riding well below my limits. And I have to stop. My foot's not in. I just couldn't get it in on, on correctly. Yeah, yeah. And then we had a break, worked on the bikes a bit. I changed the length of my stem. I made my bike a little bit longer for the high speed sections. And then we had another two hours of practice. Yeah, I was actually feeling a lot better. I felt more confident about my riding. I had hit the motorway, I had hit the river gap, so I had hit everything I needed to hit to put down a competitive run. But honestly, I can't tell you if I was certain that I was gonna qualify or not. Saturday is definitely when things start to get real. On Friday, when it's just practice, you're like, oh yeah, I'm just riding my bike, you know, nothing's too serious right now. But on Saturday, it's like, no, I like actually have to put it all together. Once again, a reminder for our elite women, we will have our top 15 moving to the semi-final set. Abby for I think seven years now. Sometimes I just have a feeling watching her that things are going really well but um, yeah I'd say sometimes I get nervous. Yeah, I was actually feeling a lot better than I had the previous day. During my warm-up I was like okay I need to get my heart rate up, I need to stay calm. What it would mean to me to compete in finals? Uh, it would mean a lot, but it would mean even more to myself that I could prove to myself that I could do it. I try not to think about that. I just, I really just want to ride my bike. Abigail Hoagie into 22nd place for the American of Beyond Racing. I finished in 22nd. Uh, it's always a little bit disappointing hearing that. I don't think it's ever going to not be disappointing because I am a racer at heart. To be competitive here, you kind of need to step out of that comfort zone or really be at those limits. And I just feel like immensely what maybe wasn't really ready to put myself in a position where I could get hurt. Um, you kind of just, you kind of let your, your head just go down. It just goes down a little bit. The second you cross and you hear that you didn't qualify, it's kind of like, <sighs> but then, and there's always Anna. <laughs> so I try to keep my head pretty quiet just because overthinking doesn't help anybody ever. But um, obviously thoughts do go through my head. It's like, oh my God, everybody's gonna beat me. Why am I even here? I don't belong here in the World Cup. So classic overthinking. 
but I try and silence those thoughts as best I can. I started and the track was quite a bit rougher than it was in practice and I wasn't expecting it. But I wasn't thinking during it, which is good. I was kind of in tunnel vision, which is why I don't really remember most of it. When I crossed the finish line, I looked back at the timing board to see where I'd placed, and I couldn't quite see where I was. I had no idea where I stood amongst the girls. Yeah, I, I didn't have anything to compare myself to since October. With all of the disadvantages that we have as a standard team compared to an elite team, it's so hard to even qualify. Like, I don't think you can imagine how fast you have to go and how well you have to hit every single corner to get such a good rundown. myself in third but I was like no that can't be and I looked into the crowd and a guy I knew was there and he was like I was like oh my god I got third that's insane <laughs> yes. when I heard that Anna qualified third I couldn't believe it um because <laughs> this well, it was her best qualifying result ever um and third right behind two of the fastest girls out there. It's insane. I don't say the job was done. I kind of just pretended like it didn't happen. Didn't put too much pressure on myself for the next runs. It's great, like it's cool, but it's, it's just a qualifying result. It's not a finals result. Last year, I had a really hard time making it through semis, and then I was also feeling a little bit under the weather. Yeah, I just didn't really feel super great all day. There was a big delay between qualifying and semifinals because one of the elite men had a big crash. They had us waiting around so long, we were cold, we were 
tired, hungry. So I was a bit stressed for Anna. If you qualified third, you have like this pressure to like show up again, you know? There's 15 girls racing, 15 really fast girls racing, and only top 10 get through from semis to finals. So she had to beat five. Um, Part of me was like, okay, like, you got this, you should just like keep calm because I know that she sometimes gets in her head about this kind of stuff. One thing that's really important in our sport when you're in a full run is let go of the mistakes you've made in your run, not focus on what was behind you, but what's in front of you. When I crossed the line, I was in fifth, and there were only two more girls to go behind me, so I knew that meant I was getting into finals. When we got to the bottom and I heard that she went into seventh, I was just like, yes! you could do it. <laughs> I feel like that was already such a big win, knowing that she can be there, you know? I'm very happy that it worked out. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I got to race finals. I tell myself, before the run, I'm like, have fun, stay focused, and hit your lines. And I repeat that to myself before every run. Making it into finals and then finishing eighth in the world is so much more than just finishing eighth today. It's when she started racing when she was a kid, all the training she puts in over every single off season. It's all of the injuries she'd gotten over, all of the getting dropped or dealing with all of the stuff that we've had to deal with as a team or as, as women racing in general. I'm really happy with how this weekend went. There are so many positive takeaways from this weekend. Obviously qualifying third was one. And yeah, being a small team, making it into finals, being, I guess, a uh, little fish in a big pond is just really, really incredible. I think we did as a team make a statement with that result. I think it was like a, yo, we can do it. We're showing up consistently. It, it was so impressive and I think it really showed a lot of people what you can do if you really want it, you know?